Hello, everybody, and welcome to our last lesson in our new book, which isn't new anymore, uh, Proportion Reasoning 3. And we're starting on page 15. Up here on top, it tells you what it's about, about scale drawings. So we will make and interpret scale drawings. We will learn the meaning of scale factor and a scale. So getting started, um, change all parts of Buddy's face. Here's Buddy's face right here. Given the following directions to create three more faces, pay attention to width and length. So right here we have um, an example of width. So width is horizontal and length is vertical. That's what those words are. Whoops. Fix that. Okay, so let's look at number one. Godfrey's face is twice as wide and just as long as Buddy's face. <clears throat> okay, so we need to draw Godfrey right here. So it's twice as wide. So remember, wide is our vert uh, our horizontal distance. So how long is Buddy's width? It's one two, three, four units. Each one of these is one unit. One, two, three, four. So now if I go twice, I have to make it eight, correct? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So it fits right here. Twice as wide and just as long. One, two, three, four, five six, seven, eight, and just as long. So it's four down. So this is now our new dimensions. By the way, the scale factor for twice is times two, right? You're multiplying times two. This is called your scale factor. I'm gonna use an X for multiplying, even though we learned that X is a variable, but just for this purpose, I'm going to use that. Now, let's see, do we have to put our eyes in a different location? Let's think, if I put the eyes in the middle, is that still going to give me the right scale factor? So I'm thinking the eyes are close together there in the second and third. So now they would be in the Third, let me try this. So there's, oh, there's an eye and there's an eye. Yeah, okay. And what about the ears? The ears are one width apart. Now we're gonna make it two. But remember the height stays the same, the, the length. So that makes that two units right here. And the mouth is two units. Now it's going to be four, but the height is still one half the length. Looks like this is Godfrey right here, twice as wide where we stretched him this way. It's a horizontal stretch. Oop. Horizontal stretch. So twice as wide, just as long. All right, Kilroy's face is twice as long and just as wide. So Kilroy is going to be the same width, which is four, but now we're gonna go down eight because it's four down, so now we're doubling it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. supposed to be straight. So there's Kilroy's shape. And now let's think about the ears. They're twice as high, but the same width, twice as long. So they're going up, but they're staying the same. And the eyes, are they going to be, they're one square. Now they're going to be two square. And I'm gonna put it right here, two 
Everything is stretched. That's called a vertical stretch. So there's the eyes. You can color it in. Color his eyes. What else? The mouth. The mouth is still the same width, but twice as long. Sometimes I use the word high for long. So there you go, that's the mouth. And there we are, Kilroy. And the Dabney's face is twice as long as twice as wide. Remember the word twice means our scale factor is two. You're multiplying all the lengths by two. So this one we're going to make eight and eight. So let's start here. Eight. So the ears are going to go twice as high and twice as wide. And the eyes are going to be, instead of one down, we're gonna go two down. And should we, oh wait. Let me think how we, they're gonna be twice as big. Does that mean we're gonna have two Two. I'm going to put it here. This one is a little weird. I know they're bigger. They got to be twice as big. In the mouth, it's two. So now it's going to be four and up two. Nope, up one because the original is one half. We're going up one. So this is a scale factor two because everything is multiplied by two. This one is called a vertical stretch. It's like thinner. Okay, and then it says look up scale factor in section 3.5. You have it also in your front page. This factor is tells you if it's bigger than one, you're making it some enlargement. If the scale factor is less than one, you're making an, a reduction or smaller. Um, and then you multiply all the parts by that number to get the new dimensions, yeah? Whose face represents body's phase scaled by a factor of two, it's the Dabney. Because we did all the dimensions, length and width. Here we, we did only one dimension, Dabney. Whose face represents Dabney's face scaled by a factor of one half. Remember, scale factor less than one, you're making a reduction, it's body. So this is an enlargement and this is a reduction of the enlargement. Which two faces look the most alike? It's the ones that got um, um, multiplied by two in all directions. So it's Budney, Buddy and Dabney. Okay, so this is this page. The next page, let's see what we have. We're skipping this one. You can cross, excuse me, cross it out. And then we are on 17. So let's see what they want us to do here. Enlargements and reductions. So enlargements, scale factor is bigger than one. The number you multiply with. And this is how you write bigger than one. Reduction, scale factor. 
is going to be a number between zero and one. Uh, let's just call it S. So it's between, the scale factor is between zero and one, a number. Usually it's in the fraction form. Okay, this is very much like algebra. So, but I want you to get used to it. A number between zero and one, it's where the scale factor is wedged between those two, okay? Natasha is making scale drawings of a birdhouse she wants to build. She completed scale drawing A right here on graph paper for the front face of the birdhouse. Then she started drawing B, C, and D, B, C, and D. Complete the drawings below. So it looks like that this part, the square here is the front square. So I know I got to put a roof on, but it's a scale factor of, let's look. So I'm gonna say scale factor of two. It looks like it's twice as big. So in other words, I multiply each side by two. This is three units, one, two, three squares. So this means six squares, one, two, three, four, five, six. And it's three across, one, two, three, four, five, six across. So everything got multiplied by two. That means the roof has to be multiplied by two. So I'm looking at the height of the roof, like how far is this? This is two. Two times two means four. So my roof goes one, two, three, four up. So this is my new roof. And then the little hole where the birds go in is one, one unit squared. Now I'm gonna have to make it two. So that means four little squares get penciled in. So that's this one. And what's this? This is like the roof, but hmm, what are we supposed to do with that roof? Oh, it's smaller. Notice this was three, now it's two. So how do we adjust this? Like we're going to make that into two as well. And that makes that hole a little bit smaller. So that's two, two. And then that would be one and a half. It's a scale factor of, let's think of the scale factor. Scale factor, and it's a reduction. So the scale factor is a smaller number. So the scale factor is um, two over three because we're getting two out of three, two thirds. And then this one is all together really tiny. So let's think of the scale factor here. It's a reduction from the original. This by the way is the original. And the original always has a scale factor of one because you're starting out with that. Well, this thing is one third, each side is one third of the original one. So the scale factor would be one third. Remember if it's a reduction, the number is between zero and one. This is less than one. Okay, so those are our drawings. Let's complete the table. Reduction, so drawing A was the original, remember? So it's neither reduction or it's the original. So it's neither reduction nor enlargement. because it's the original, what you start out with. The scale factor, and it's, it's always one then, the multiplier, because you can multiply any length by one and you still get the same thing, okay? And the scale ratio compared to drawing A, which it's itself is one to one, okay? It's the original size. These are ones, original size, B, let's look. Scale factor was two, it's an enlargement. Scale factor is two, twice as big. So we're going to say 
scale ratio compared to drawing A. So it's B compared to A is two to one. The order matters, yeah? Compared to drawing A, I'm gonna write that down. So it's B to A. The ratio is B to A. So B is twice as big, so the two comes first. Two to one, twice as large. C is smaller, so it's a reduction compared to A. So a reduction, the scale factor was two to three. So two units here, make it three units here. So it's two to three. And so we have a ratio of B to um, C to A. C is um, two thirds of A, okay? It's two thirds as large. And D is definitely a reduction. It's a scale factor of one third, we said. So D compared to A is one third to one. The order is important. That's why I had to read that compared to A. So your A is last. The new one compared to A. If it had been the other way around, you got to list the number opposite. Okay, so this is one third as large. Okay, look at these, this information to help you with scale factor. I think that's important. It's a multiplier, a scale factor, you multiply the original with, and then, and then you get the new dimensions. Dimensions are length and width, or the width and the height. Yeah, those are called dimensions. So this was page um, 17 and practice seven is going to be home. Uh, I'm gonna get you started on that. That's a little tricky. So I wanna, I'm gonna say notes, by the way, what do I have here? It's notes. Write that above it. And what was this? This was skip and this is notes. Okay, practice seven, I'm gonna fill in a lot of it and you can finish it up. So I'll write notes plus homework. So another way to describe a scale factor is as a, as a percent. For example, a scale factor of two could also be described as a scale factor of 200%, yeah? So look at this, scale factor as 100% as a number would be one. 300% would be three. Now you have to think backwards. What's one half? One half as a percent, one half of the whole as a percent, you can figure out what goes in here, hopefully. And how would you write 20%, 25% as a decimal or fraction? Think about it. Scale factor two, what would be the percent? Percent 150, what would be the scale factor as a number? So I'm gonna let you think about that for a minute. Actually, I'm going to have you fill that in for homework. I think you can do it. The ratio here is one to one if it's a original. This is your original, okay? It's neither because in the height and length, oh, where's this here? Where are we supposed to? Oh, it's down here. We have to look at this triangle. This is A. This is our original triangle A. Yeah, so the height is um, four little squares, one. By the way, students do not count this as one. You're gonna get it wrong. You go start here and go one, two, three, four. And we call these units because we don't know how long each square is. 
and the base is three units. Now your job is to draw the new one, B. If it's 300% larger, scale factor three, what are the new dimensions? It's an enlargement. And what are the new dimensions? It's three times as big. Now my thing don't wanna work. It's going to be four times three is 12 units long. And you have to draw that in the base is three times three, nine units wide. So you have to make sure you fit it on here. So let's try that. We're gonna draw that one. So squeeze them together. This is A, the original. Now we're gonna draw one that's 12 units long. So start up here. Don't go too far. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Ugh. Yeah, it's supposed to be straight and nine units over. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is B, three times as big. Now you're going to figure out what C is. What's the, it's going to be a reduction smaller by half. What's the percent? What's the ratio? It's a reduction and you need to find the new measurements, but remember you're comparing it to this one, not to this. You're comparing it to the original. Okay, so I'm gonna let you finish this page and see how you far you get. And that was page 18 and then 19. That's now we're starting with our review. The poster problem you can skip. And then we have this one. I'm not sure if I find time. I'd like to try this. So I'm gonna put a question mark I do wanna do this one. So we can start on this one that's called this notes plus homework. You will make a scale drawing of sports playing surfaces. Draw a double number line to show a scale of one half inch is 10 feet. Notice we have different units. So draw a double number line. Start here at zero, zero, and call one inch, that's your model. And this is feet, that's your reality. Okay, so we have the first marker is one half inch goes with 10 feet. So I can go up and say, well, uh, one half, so one inch has to be twice as much, 20 feet. And then uh, how about, let me see, I already worked this out a little bit. I wanna make sure I'm using some numbers that make sense. And one, and then I used five, next, five inches. What do you think? How many feet? You can think ahead. You can use your calculator if you must. So one, to, so that's a multiplier of five. So I'm gonna have a hundred feet. Then I multiplied, doubled it. So I'm gonna double this. 200 feet, 10 inches is 200 feet in real life. And then how about 20, doubled it again, 400. So 20 inches on your paper would be real life 400 feet. So those cover most of the numbers. However, there's a few that you need to figure out yourself because for example, we don't have 60 feet, but you can get 60 out of 20, three times 
times. So you can squeeze 60 in here and then multiply that number by three as well. So you can figure these out and I'll do the first one for you. The soccer field is 400 feet and uh, the actual length and uh, width. So length and width, remember it's a, it's a rectangle. This is your length, this is your width, those shorter sides here, okay? So the drawing length for 400 is 20 inches, but the width 300 is not here. So I'm gonna squeeze it in here and think. So 10 to 20, I think it's 15, 15 inches. So use this tape, uh, not a tape die, double number line to reason out which proportions would work. So this is also your homework. You can finish that and we can go over the answers. And then I will assign you to make a um, scale drawing of one of these um, sports fields. You can pick one and you have to cut out the measurement that you found. 20 inches by 15 will be the soccer field model. Okay, so anyways, try this. So finish that. And then you have your vocabulary review. You're going to do that for homework. And you're using your definitions here. So sometimes you have to read it and match it up with the way they're asking. The result of a scale factor between zero and one. Is it a reduction? Yeah, that would be this one. Yeah, so look for the words definitions in here. You got to read the definitions and then you can find the word. And then I think that's it. Mm -hmm. These are all more examples for you. That's it. So good luck to you and then have your book ready to be graded. We're going over the homework next time and take a test, okay? Be ready.